And then this question went in a really interesting direction from Mod Mike. Tell us what you think we should be doing in terms of skilling. Should we focus on one particular skill with a full rework and make it consistent across the board, or should they bring more up to 120? Um, Mod Mike was recently talking with uh, Mod Kalaya about possibly doing a poll on this. In particular, you could put a lot of time and effort into one thing that does need some TLC, but is it the best thing to do for everybody? So they're looking at doing a poll about whether there should be full reworks, making it more consistent, or bringing skills up to 120 on this. In terms of yeah. what the players want for rework content. I no, think if you pull that, full rework is going to win. It Maybe. But the, but the thing is, by how much... Like, cause right. that's where I see the polls at right now. Like, I don't see them as effective as maybe they once were because they're either going to be so tight that it's meaningless. Half the people are not happy about whatever the choice would be anyway. Or you have the other end where everyone actually is on the same page. And if that was the case, you wouldn't need to poll it. Yeah. Uh, let's just do a poll here with us. Uh, full rework, making it more consistent, or taking things to 120. Tannis. 120. Zant. Making it more consistent. Interesting. Um, I'm going to say full rework. And therein lies exactly <laughs> what I was saying. Yep. <laughs> 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 but I seriously do think it depends on the skill for me, though. I mean, it's kind of hard to make just what do I think should be done to any and all skills that are right to be because because talking about woodcutting is different than talking about construction. Exactly. Yeah. So that's true. Like, I don't think you need this one size fits all approach to this. You need to take each individual skill and figure what out what they need, need to have done to them. What you need is an executive. Who is going to make the decision for the players and not be kicking it back to us with what we want for fear of dividing the community? We don't actually know what we want. Tannis, I can't we believe we're saying had, this again. We're back we at this stage. Somebody, if we only had somebody that was like that, huh? Yeah. I'm good old days. <laughs> make the decisions for us. Please, I beg you, make the decisions for us. But one thing, you know, I think people are hungry for everywhere is leadership. Um, and no matter <laughs> we, who takes if over. We, if we wanted this, we'd play old school. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unless, I mean, there's, that, unless, unless our listeners want... Unless our listeners want this, but even then maybe I'm off base. I don't know. <laughs> Well, and that's, but that's what's kind of hard with like just trying to maintain and trying to stay status quo. Yeah. Eventually, you don't have a direction because you're just trying to stay afloat. Whereas, you know, people that put that vision into place, they would have had a vision. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they would have had yeah. <laughs> a plan. Yeah. Like, could you imagine what what the what the studio would be like? Um, had they not had the COVID shutdown and they were able to continue at the pace of um, pre-archaeology? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> if if the num I mean, just think, though, like, the numbers you were just talking about, you know, in the last segment with mobile. Yeah. Third. If that information had been around eight months ago... We'd be, we would have had a different discussion at the end of the year. Maybe things would have looked a lot different on a lot of different levels. Yeah. Do you, and and maybe this is us. Do like us not trusting the wider player base as a whole. Maybe that's what we're getting at here. What was that? <laughs> that is a late night big alert, but this does not happen very often anymore. <laughs> And when I asked the question, it sounded about trusting the player base. It sounded like someone was crying out of pain. That's why I asked. <laughs> <They're telling>, no. 
<laughs> oh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, but but who do you trust, Shane? What what segment of the player base? Exactly, and what? that's why I trust an executive more than the player base. Well, I trust someone that is is looking has an eye on the different the the different you know kind of like subcultures of RuneScape and is trying to give something to everyone while maintaining a central vision of where the game's going. I mean, that's kind of what yeah. you need. Yeah. Um, and and we've kind of been back and forth. Now, part of that, I guess we had to, right, because we're wrapping up Elder God Wars. So we knew we were going to have four bosses or whatever coming. We knew it was yeah. going to be combat heavy with that. Um, so, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't blame them. You know, that was bound to happen. But yeah. now we should start getting back to that. Because for a minute there, the we did have a pretty balanced approach. Yeah, the bread and butter asking what what we're going to be looking at, right? Mm-hmm. So, and you're right. I mean, you look at you look at the um, start of 2020 before archaeology, um, Raksha, 120 herb lore, 120 farming, archaeology, wars retreat, all that stuff in 2020 actually was fairly balanced before we got to these fronts. I will say that. It was a little bit light on the questing. I'll give you that. But content-wise, I feel it was balanced. Um, but once again, this, is, this all comes back to that skill rework question in that do you go the full rework route? Do you focus on fixing inconsistencies in the skill, or do you take more skills to 120? And I feel like if you if you orchestrate the central vision of an executive producer level person or CEO, you can answer that question relatively easily and you don't need to pull the players. No, you need to serve the players that are here. Yeah. Where are the players here? Well, they're post 99, but maybe not 120 yet like that. That's where you want to hit it. You know, two or three years ago, Five years ago, yeah. full rework would have been all day long. All day long, I would say full rework, full rework, full rework. But given where the players are, given where people's accounts are now, I feel like 120 is the best bang for your buck. Right, and the thing that gives me pause about saying full rework and why it took me a, quite a minute to say that is that if I can have a full rework of a skill or I can have another thing like archaeology, I'm going to choose another thing like archaeology. Well, yeah, I mean – Yes, I, I I get that. But if we could get, I mean, but look, we got farming and herbler, right? Yeah. Like you're getting, you could be getting two for every one kind of thing. And I don't know. I just feel like it would hit the greatest amount of people. Like it'd do the best, the greatest amount of good for the greatest amount. Of yeah. People. But at the same time, do you let the players make that decision? This will be the final point on this. No. That's what it comes down to. We're stupid. We don't. We don't. We know what we want right now. We do not know what is the best thing necessarily for the game. We know what we want. All right, Zant. Anything else on this? Uh, no, I think I've said what I need to say. Yeah, and and the Beagles have had their word too. And saying, <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Like, no, don't have. don't trust the players. <laughs> <laughs> You can find full episodes of RSBMB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed it, like and subscribe, or leave a comment.